All right, you want to hear the story from Kenya? No, not really. You don't? Mm-mm. Uh, all right. The man put his penis in a goat. <laughs> That's Jamaican. I want to hear about the man putting his penis in a goat. Is that what they sound like in Kenya? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> You had charged before <laughs> this court with putting your penis in a goat. How do you plead? It's a whole different continent. <laughs> yeah. All right, why don't we uh, play this? Go ahead. Hit play. <laughs> <laughs> a Malindi court has sentenced a man <laughs> to 10 years. You're trying to tell me I don't know? <laughs> yes, it does. The court sentenced a man because he put his penis in a goat. <laughs> not the right slide Yes, either. it is. <laughs> Listen to the woman tell the story. He's in prison for defiling a goat. Yeah, it's Interestingly, prison. during the sentencing, the goat that was defiled was present in the courtroom. Here's the story. <laughs> There's the goat. It is in the oh, is that the goat? Yes. In the courtroom. That's also the courtroom. Yeah, That's well, you see, wonderful. because he was going to give a victim impact statement, and then they're going to cut his throat and eat it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, it's Caribbean. Let's have lunch. Let me see some as evidence to a case but in Malindi a she got the said victim of bestiality was present watching quietly as alleged assailant was sentenced Kita Ogona, a middle-aged man got 10 years behind bars wow. to ruminate on the sins which That's admitted ridiculous. committing with Damn. the she got members of public inside with the court were shocked when the accused made the confession but what surprised them more was the sentence slapped on the accused by the Malindi resident magistrate Mudon in Zibe 10 years for bestiality was a new record in this Malindi courtroom. The accused had been charged. They switched to another language halfway through the story. <laughs> 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 trouble following that. Oh my God. It's because the she goat was a victim of sexual assault and in, in the courtroom they had not given the 10 years. This is the first time 10 years was given for bestiality. <laughs> He's floating the she goat. What? He's floating more towards Kenyan, but it's still Caribbean. No, it's not. The she goat, the <laughs> she goat, it's the longest time in the court. The magistrate gave a 10 year sentence when they were not expecting, but they were surprised by the yeah, confession. Very, I understand. Very confused black person. No, no I'm not. I think he's got I'm it. a man who doesn't like it. to see goats injured. <laughs> <laughs> and the goat was present in the courtroom as the assailant was sentenced. Hit it. Slapped on the accused oh, by the Malindi geez. resident magistrate Mudon in Zibe. Ten years for bestiality was a new record in this Malindi courtroom. The accused had been charged that he had carnal knowledge of the she goat on Monday this week at the Basso village in Gede location. The prosecution told the court that Kitsau was caught in the act by a man who was passing by the bush where the incident was taking place. <laughs> that you see, right? That's what the, the, the man had carnal knowledge of the goat, and because the man passed by the bush and see the man assaulting the goat, there's no room for interpretation he had to get 10 years in the courtroom <laughs> the magistrate saw to it <laughs> they were saying that uh when the guy passed the bush yeah. he's fucking a goat behind a bush oh man but i guess he had to do it naked because what tipped the guy off was the dude who was fucking the goat all his clothes were <laughs> on the bush why so did the, he have to be naked? Why so couldn't the, he just pull his because dick Because a lot of times you do that, the goat would push its duty behind it back against your trousers, <laughs> and then everybody will see goat duty all over the front of your trousers. Is duty hiney? That makes sense. Nobody <laughs> wants goat duty on the trousers, because then you got to explain why you got goat duty on your trousers and your lower part of your shirt. It only makes sense that this is happening in the Caribbean. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> true. The man decided to remove his clothes and make love to the goat. <laughs> <laughs> he liked the way the goat hairy legs bang against his smooth ones. <laughs> <laughs> incident was taking place. Also Amy. present in court was a report from district veteran officer indicating evidence of the act. In mitigation, the accused pleaded for pardon, saying he had a disabled wife who depended on him. But the magistrate <laughs> insisted oh, the disabled offense wife. was serious. He has been given 14 days to appeal. To so, appeal. So he's going to get 10 years. Yeah. But his, uh, his excuse was no. Have mercy on me. Even though I fucked that goat, I have a disabled wife that's going to need me at home. Helping and that's her. why, probably. Right. Yes, the wife was not able to make love, so he had carnal knowledge with the she-goat. <laughs> he tried she to have carnal knowledge with his wife, but he could not because of her disability. I love well, that they called it a she-goat. A she-goat. She <laughs> yeah. Because homosexuality is even more wrong than oh, bestiality. Yeah. He would have gotten like 40 years. Oh, yeah. What, which, what country is this? Kenya. Well, he, sure he can. 
They're, <laughs> they're that crazy about crimes like that in Kenya? You'd Fucking be surprised. You're running rampant. You would think that would be way down the list of things they're worried about. Think, yeah, yeah. But, mm. wow. All right. And then we got uh, the Biebs. Yeah, what's this Bieber story? What the fuck? Well, he's in the, you know, his new thing is graffiti. Really? Yeah, he loves doing graffiti. That's his art. That's his release, he says. Oh, cool. Good for him. What what that that you like Bieber. Fuck yeah, the Biebs needs a release. I get distracted easily. What was that Bob Barker thing? Oh. What did he say? Bob Barker, I'm turning 90, and I could still beat Adam Sandler's ass. Oh, he's still going oh, with that. That's he's hilarious. Price is, he is wrong, bitch. He's going to be 90, I guess. Fuck, man. I mean, I'll be turning 92, but not for a while. Oh. That's hilarious. Wow. But yeah, so now she, uh, 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 Justin Bieber, right, is uh, he's doing graffiti. That's ah, his no. What is it? What do you mean? Like he, he paints pictures with spray paint on walls. Oh, he thinks he's gonna. Like, ah, he's like Banksy. And, he, like Banksy. Yeah, like yeah. exactly. If, except if his name is Sperm Banksy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what kind of shit does he? Would do you like an original Beebsy? Yes, I would yeah. like to see him draw something uh, maybe out of Fundu. Out of Fundu. See some of his work. What kind of shit does he do? He does like funny faces. Ah. Oh. Is his fan base eating it up? Oh, the girls, they love it. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Who's his and demo where's he now? doing this? Like, wherever he uh, performs? Well, this one got him in a little trouble. Oh, no. That black looks... is black? Yeah, it looks that like... looks very African. You can construe it as racist. Yes, like blackface. Oh, this guy is gifted. <laughs> yeah, like, wherever he performs. This, this one's cartoons. This one was in Rio. That's terrible. He stinks. Yeah, they probably blocked it off and the police watched him do it. Of course. Oh. And look what he wrote there. Can you what? read that, Jim? Let me see. I can't. Let me get my reading glasses. I think you're in this club. Ah! Emerald Beliebers. That's right. Yes, I am. He wrote yeah. Beliebers above his graffiti. Because ah. that's who he does it for. The Beliebers. Ah. How can you try to be gangster and still write Beliebers? <laughs> Beliebers. <laughs> yeah, make up your mind. He's an idiot. Are you fucking Tupac or the cute 12-year-old I thought <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what happened? So the mayor of Australia was like, "Fuck you!" Well, one of the shit here. He threatened to fuck his mouth. The mayor okay. of the mayor of Gold Coast, Australia. Where's that? Gold it's it's in Australia. What part? Coast. Which part? It's, it's like a left or right. Let's say up or down. Left, upper left. Oh. Something I just made up. But. Yeah, no, it's actually the closest part to the equator. That's why it's called the Gold Coast because the beaches are yellow. Oh, I don't buy that. You shouldn't. No. Uh, God, you would be great at uh, Boulder Dash. <laughs> <laughs> what is Boulder Dash? Uh, oh, just one of those shitty family games I hated. Where so you have to lie. And, oh, God. I claim Boulder Dash. Yes, that's Boulder Dash. I, I had family members that were really into it, and I would just sit there like a dummy. I just fucking couldn't be bothered. Well, the funny thing and is... I it, sucked at it. The name was so cute, but the questions were really weird. Like, let's say, you, oh, you're full of Boulder Dash. Well, it says here that you can fit 40 pounds of gravel into the average cunt. Ah, ah. I claim Boulder Dash. That's Boulder Dash. Boulder Dash, it's a word that no one fucking knows, and then everyone comes up with what it, what the meaning is. What Ooh. it is. Wait, that's... Oh, but it could be a made-up word. It's not a made-up word. It just happens to be a shitload of words that no one fucking knows. So who, who wins? Give me a Boulder Dash word. Go ahead. How do you and win the game? And then we'll go to the beeps. And then you gotta trick people. If people, like, pick yours as the real definition... Uh -huh. You get points. But everyone knows it's kind of like Boulder Dash means bullshit. Well, they're different. No, names. you're trying not just to... Boulder Dash. There's different words. Oh. You, you don't play this word Boulder Dash oh. every time. <laughs> <Jimmy. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you want people to pick yours. Because if you pick the right definition, you get the points. Uh -huh. But, but if you pick word. someone else's definition, which isn't right, then that person gets the points. Uh -huh. I, I was good at Boulder Dash. I, hated I called it this Scrabble. Game, man. Okay. Oh my god. Sam, let's get to a word for Boulder Dash. You got uh -huh. a Boulder Dash, example of a Boulder Dash word. Fine yeah. one, Sam. I'll get the definition correct. It was extremely w rare that a word would be picked that you actually knew. I know most Boulder of the words. Boulder Dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? Can't they fucking, these poor whales, that sucks. Yeah. They're st I guess they can't just... Stuck in that booth. <laughs> drag them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... 
the running joke that now, why are these lazy whales lounging on the beach <laughs> Lazy <laughs> whales don't want to do anything. Oh, they don't want to swim. Yeah, just fucking taking it easy, soaking up the sun. And I thought they were supposed to be smart. Yeah, exactly. Not too smart when you need water to survive. Mm, yeah. You decide to go where it's two feet deep. Yeah, big fat heads. How about you turn around? All Get out of there. To, all you have to do is keep in the deep water. Right. Yeah. These are sonar shitheads. And here come the real answers now. You know the reason. Is it man made uh, noise? Because uh, right then the, the, the last <laughs> caller was full of shit. It's because. Yeah. Bunch of lazy whales trying to get some beach time. That's what they paying. are. You got a boulder dash word? I do. All right. Oh. Cockatory. <laughs> <laughs> that one was for <laughs> Chip. Lyle. Chip does like that word. Cockatory. And then you sit there and you come over to the definition for cockatory and hope people believe that yours is the right definition. Oh. What is the actual definition of cockatory? Why don't we have to guess? Yeah. A place where cocks are stored. Oh, oh. is it a place where cocks are stored? Mm. No, I say it means think? something like crazy. Crazy or um, off the wall. Uh, mm -hmm. No, actually, I, I kind of know this one. It is a place where you manufacture spigots. Oh, huh. yes. See, oh. that's in that. That's how you would handle it. Oh, uh -huh. I'm going to say it's some type of pasta. A cockatory. <laughs> or, 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 or it could be cockatory. <laughs> that's why I sucked at this game, because that would probably be my real definition, too. Um, a time when you would say no thanks to the Tory. <laughs> <laughs> What's so what, stupid? What's the uh, answer? Cockatory means what Anthony did not say. Oh, it's it's Boulder Dash. Oh, <laughs> of course. Cockatory means to be accompanied by loose bowels. Ah, uh, like uh, to be accompanied. That means you what? You bring them out to the yeah. You bring them with, with you. you. No, Just a you, shitty asshole. Well, a ticket for me and my cockatory. <laughs> For the diners, the effects of the chicken cacciatore, alas, were cockatory. Dude, Rob Ford's walking down the hall. What? Right there. That's not. That's not. That's, not, uh, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's not a flattering comparison. Uh, not Rob me. Ford at that all. was Rob Ford. No. Bill said he was losing weight. Yo, Rob. Yo, Ford. <laughs> all right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.